Hello everyone. Thank you so much for joining me for week three of our stress reduction course. I pray and hope that everyone is doing well. I ask that you find yourself in a comfortable seated pose or if you choose to be laying in your bed or sitting on your sofa. I am sitting on a booster seat and I have my yoga mat in front of me. Throughout the session, I may cue us to do a couple of poses and stretching techniques. However, if the poses are not comfortable or suitable for you, I invite you to relax back and simply listen and maybe try to picture what we are doing in your mind. My voice will be a guide here today. Listening to the intuitions of our own bodies. With that being said, may we find ourselves in a comfortable position. And any comfortable position that feels good for you, may you find that place. Bringing our palms together at heart center if we choose. Closing our eyes or gazing downward, noticing how the down gaze feels within our bodies. Maybe take a nice, deep, intentional breath in. Hold the breath. Exhale through the mouth. how the breath calms and soothes our mind and our body. Maybe. I ask that we allow our hands to relax beside our bodies or on our chest, whatever feels good for us. Continuing to keep our eyes gazed downward. Today's class we're gonna work on responding opposed to reacting. And what exactly does that mean? In a nutshell, when we when we respond, we actually take a moment to think about our actions. Or we take a moment to think about the words that come out of our mouth before we say or do something. When we respond, we do not miss that wall between our thoughts and our mouth. There's a wall there. There's an invisible wall. When something happens to us, we can either respond without thinking. When we respond without thinking, which is called reacting, we often miss that wall. That wall is very essential because it gives us a pause in what happened and what we say or do. When we have that wall in place, that wall could be considered our foundation, our bios. We think at that wall and we stop and pause. However, when that wall is missing, when something happens and our actions and the things that we say often come hand in hand, there's no pause when we react. We jump off the deep end without thinking what's on the other side. And that is the difference between responding and wall, that moment of pause, that moment to think, what should I say or how shall I handle the situation? Maybe we can bring our palms back together at heart center, continuing to gaze our eyes downward and maybe think of a moment when we reacted opposed to responding or think of a moment when we responded opposed to reacting and maybe we can critique how the situation worked out maybe take a couple moments of silence to go inward to meditate and to think
allowing our palms to fall to the sides of our bodies. Our abdominal muscles are nice and tight. Our shoulders are back. Our spinal cord is nice and long. Noticing how we feel, being aware of what's going on within at this present moment. As our palms and fingertips touch the earth, body leans to the right, allowing our left arm to go above our head as we go deeper into the right bend. taking our time to check in, to see what's going on within our bodies. We are simply doing a body scan with our movements. Exhaling back to center, allowing our palms to relax on the earth or beside our bodies. May we bring our palms back together at heart center if we choose. Inhale. Exhale. Maybe we notice the thoughts and feelings and emotions that went on within our bodies when we critiqued. The times we reacted and the times we responded. Noticing how we feel without judgment. We are simply doing an exercise to critique the differences between responding and reacting. We are working on our awareness of how we are in situations. We are not judging ourselves. We are simply becoming more aware. Thus, in the future, we can have better responses to what's happening around us. Because indeed, the world around us changes at any given second, for both good and for bad. And we wanna ensure that we have control over our responses. We wanna ensure that we have control over how we are, despite what's going on around us the outside world and people do not control us, that power lies within. We're not beating ourselves up. We're not saying what we should have done or what we could have done. We are working on what we will do in the event that something similar happens. We are working on being more aware of us keeping our palms together at heart center if we choose as we gaze downward showing ourselves love for self-love and self-care is essential maybe we can thank ourselves for allowing ourselves to take the time here today to critique our way Thanking ourselves for taking the time today to go inward and working on bettering ourselves. Indeed, everyone can benefit from change, for no one is perfect and we all fall. 
fall short from time to time. We are simply being aware and making ourselves more aware of when we do fall short without judgment. We are kind to ourselves. We don't beat ourselves up for what we've done. We love ourselves. We take note of what we've done and we vow to be better and never do it again. Awareness is key. Inhale. Exhaling through the mouth. Noticing how our shoulders relax downward away from our ears. Maybe we can allow our palms to relax on our laps or beside our bodies. Simply going in, relaxing our bodies. If we choose, maybe we can flow onto our hands and knees, finding ourselves in a tabletop pose. Noticing how we feel as we transition to our new pose. Ensuring that our hands are beneath our shoulders and our knees, our legs or hip distance apart, being aware. As we drop our bodies down, our tummies come down, feeling a curvature in our spinal cord. As our chin comes slightly up, we are flowing into our cow pose. Our tummy is nice and tight, feeling a slight back bend here, noticing how this feels. As we exhale to our cat pose, our chin comes towards our clavicle, our spinal cord comes up in the air, reaching the ceiling. Our tummy is nice and tight as we notice how this feels within our body. Breathing back to our tabletop pose, being aware. Maybe we can work on another pose, taking it a little deeper here and building a little bit more strength and balance within our lives. We're gonna work on a dog bird pose. For short, we just call it bird pose. Allowing our right leg to go towards the back. Our right leg goes towards the back, nice and long, However, if this pose is not suitable for us, we can always lower our foot down towards the earth. That way our toes is simply resting on the earth. So we have an option to keep our leg downward or we can lift our leg up behind our bodies. Feeling our body strength in here. Our abdominal muscles are nice and tight as we allow our left arm to go forward, straight in front of us. Noticing how this feels within our body. Building strength, building balance, which is what we are working on in our everyday lives. We'll hold this pose for four natural breaths. Exhaling back to our tabletop pose. Hands are beneath our shoulders, dropping our bodies down to our cow. As we exhale to our cat. Coming back to our table. We're gonna do the bird pose on the opposite side. Left leg goes towards the back. Tummy is nice and tight. As we bring our right arm forward, Gazing forward, feeling our body strengthen and balance on the opposite side. Scanning our bodies as we hold this balancing and strengthening pose. We'll hold this for four more breaths. Exhaling back to our table, dropping our bodies down to our cow, breathing to our cat, coming back to our table pose, 
Inhale. As we exhale to a seated position, I am sitting in an easy seat. I am sitting in a half lotus. May you find a comfortable seated pose that feels good for you. Shoulders are back nice and tall. Our spinal cord is nice and long. Maybe we can do a seated spinal twist by allowing our left hand to touch our right knee. Allowing our right hand to go behind our backs as we slowly gaze over that right shoulder. Body scanning as we slowly gaze over that right shoulder. Simply checking that here. Exhaling back to center. See the spinal twist opposite side. Right hand goes on left knee. Left hand goes behind our backs as we gaze over that left shoulder. Exhaling back to center. Gazing downward towards the earth. Taking a moment of silence to meditate. Simply checking in, scanning our bodies to see how we feel. There are a lot of unpredictable things that happens to us in our day-to-day -day lives. And one in particular thing that happened to us is COVID. A little over a year ago, COVID showed its ugly face. Here we are a year later and we are still dealing. Maybe we can take a moment to notice how we are responding and how we are reacting to the ongoing pandemic. There may be days that we respond, meaning we think before we do something. There may be days that we react because we just because we're just getting sick and tired of same old, same old, not being able to do. So on the days that we respond and on the days that we react, maybe we can notice how that makes us feel. In responding, we come up with alternatives to bring happiness. When we react, we often get upset. We might call off the wedding. We might say, I'm not having a 50th birthday. You might say, this is the worst 50th birthday ever. You know, that's, that's reacting where we become unhappy with the situation and because the situation isn't ideal for us and how we would have pictured it to be and how we want it to be, we react. And we often react negatively. And sometimes in that reaction, we, we lash out to other people. We might even call off the wedding. We might even call off the 50th birthday party, etc. And when we are calling things off, we're actually causing ourselves more pain and anxiety because we didn't get a moment of happiness. We didn't get what we want and we didn't meet anyone at all. For this person turned 50 and was not happy because they wasn't able to do all the things that they planned on doing for their 50th birthday. So they reacted badly. However, what that person was missing is that they turned 50. They are here and they are alive. But so many people is not. That's the takeaway from that. Another scenario of responding and reacting. We are out and about someone or maybe we're with family and friends and another person starts screaming and hollering and yelling at us and we're having a simple conversation but the other person's voice elevates and starts screaming at you what do you do do we scream back which is a natural reaction for many people or do we take a step back and tell that person you know what and walk away you know what calm your voice, 
But you know, telling someone to calm their voice often leads to more frustration. Thus, when we are aware, we'll, you know what? And we'll walk away. Because we are aware and understand that telling someone to calm down does nothing but make them become more agitated and angry. We also know arguing with them and becoming agitated and angry as they are leads to both parties building up more intense emotions and often can sometimes get out of hand. And you know what they say, when there are two people screaming and hollering and arguing their heads off, you don't know which one is the fool. In fact, they both look like idiots. If we are thinking of a time when we overreacted, we are not going to judge. We're not going to beat ourselves up for what we did do. But what we can maybe do is ensure that we do not do it again. And maybe we can reach out to that person if we choose and say, hey, blah, blah, blah. And maybe they'll speak to you and maybe they won't. If they don't speak to you, at least you made that attempt to reach out. Now your heart, mind, and soul is clear. Or maybe they will speak with you. And what we could have done was just repaired a broken relationship. See that there? And it takes a big person to call someone and say, Hey, remember five years ago, three years ago, last month, last week, when I did this, when I said that? Man, I take that back. What was I thinking? It takes a really big person to do that. Now that we are becoming more familiar with responding and reacting, maybe we can take a nice, deep, intentional breath in. Exhaling through the mouth. Simply using the breath to invite self-care within ourselves and self-love and self-forgiveness. Forgiving ourselves for all the times we reacted. For all the times we overreacted. It happens. That's life. But again, awareness is key. Inhale. Exhale. We are going to continue to move forward with our awareness of responding and reacting. Maybe we can find ourselves in a comfortable seated position. Using a breath to help us guide each movement. Flowing our bodies to our staff poles, bringing our legs straight in front of us. Noticing how this feels. As we lean forward, finding ourselves in a seated forward fold, maybe our hands can reach the lower parts of our legs. Or maybe we can go deeper and touch the bottoms of our feet. May we simply try this pose, feeling the stretch behind our legs and our hamstrings, scanning our lower bodies, as we focus here today. Maybe we can allow our forehead to relax downward towards our bodies in our seated forward fold as much as we can, going inward and relaxing with the movement. this with three more breaths. Slightly gazing up, coming back to our staff pose. Shoulders are up. Our spinal cord is nice and long. Gazing forward. Tummy is nice and tight. Maybe we can wiggle our toes. Scanning our feet. Moving our toes.
moving our hips, noticing how this feels in our lower back. Being aware, allowing the breath to guide us here today. Shrugging our shoulders up towards our ears and rolling them towards the back. Maybe do this a couple times. Being aware of how our upper bodies feel. Noticing how the movement feels within our body. Finding our pause. Gazing downward towards the earth. Taking a moment here. Scanning our bodies from head to toe. Visualizing what's going on within our bodies. Calming and neutralizing. Inhale, nice deep breath. in the lungs. Exhale. Imagining how our lungs look as we breathe in deeply and exhale. Our bodies are working for us. Our bodies are calm and relaxed. Gazing down at our feet. Our feet are the tools that carry us from place to place. Thanking our feet for carrying our entire body weight. Wiggling our toes and rotating our ankles. Thanking our feet saying hello feet I appreciate you looking up at our legs our torso our hands our chest our head body regardless of the shape or size or color I appreciate you thankful for my body the way it is. Gratefulness is a beautiful thing. Self-love is a beautiful thing. Self-love starts with telling our bodies from head to toe that we love you, we appreciate you, for it is ours. Gazing down. Showing love. Feeling our bodies calm and soothed within. Visualizing ourselves within our bodies, normalizing. Becoming stable. Continuing to gaze. Continuing to see our bodies working for our. is calm. Our mind is calm. And we are centered here today. Finding ourselves back in a seated pose. Maybe we can go inward and ask ourselves truly how 
how are we reacting and handling the ongoing pandemic? Is there anything that we can do differently? Are we making the most out of the situation for what it is? simply critiquing here, becoming more aware of, without judgment, Realizing and understanding that reacting negatively won't bring happiness and won't make it over. And maybe we can continue to think of ways to adapt to the changing world around us. Taking a situation for what it is, because we can't change COVID, so we have to take it for what it is. We can change how we react and respond. We can control what's going on within our lives. We can control how we see the situation. We can control our happiness. That choice is in our hands. Maybe we can work on ways to continue to keep a positive insight. COVID, we will not allow you to beat us. We will continue to fight this pandemic optimistically with hope and ambition for a better future. continue to move forward with our changing world. We will continue to protect ourselves as much as we can. We will continue to be and live. For we are human beings and we have the power to adapt to any changing environment. Got this. We will beat this. And we will not let this get the best of us. Bringing our palms together at Heart Center. Self affirmation of hope, of strength, of positivity.
here is a note. The more aware we are that we create our reality, the less our life has to fall apart before we make changes for the better. Awareness is the key.